New tonight, Oregon State researchers making a breakthrough discovery. They're working to understand what compounds give an ashy or smoky taste to wine from grapes exposed to wildfire smoke. NBC 5's Zach Larson spoke with one of the researchers today about it. He's got that story. Zach? Craig, in the last couple years, Oregon State research have been simulating wildfire smoke to determine its effect on grapes. Now they're saying a compound not typically found in wine could be causing the change in taste. According to research, a sulfur containing compound called thiophenol combined with volatile phenols is what gives wine that ashy or smoky taste. The wildfire smoke itself attaches to the skin of the grapes, so they're, so they're finding that red wine in particular is vulnerable to smoke from wildfires. This breakthrough could mean good news for vineyards across the West who are sometimes affected by wildfire smoke. So now that we have we have a specific target in mind that we can start looking at, we can start uh, aiming directly for that, removing those compounds out so that they can start selling the wines that they want to sell again. Researchers have found not everyone can taste the difference in wine that is tainted with smoke. Serato says they will continue to study this sulfur compound to better understand how it can be removed from wine. He also told me a new lab will open this summer at Oregon State where winemakers can send potentially smoke tainted wine to them to see if it's been affected by wildfire smoke. Live in studio, Zach Larson, NBC5 News.